Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats uh, and in this video, uh, one of our first videos in this series of videos dealing with recurrence relation and uh, we just want to explore what we mean by a recurrence relation and what a recurrence relation is. Uh, I mean recurrence uh, is also, we could flip out recurrence and we could say a recursive. So really what these particular structures are, are structures that allow us to generate, they allow us to generate uh, the values or the terms within a sequence. So, I mean, from a very, very high level, yeah, a recurrence relation, a recurrence relation, okay, generates, generates a sequence, generates a sequence, okay? And that's all a recurrence relation effectively is, okay? It's some recursive definition that generates a particular sequence. Now, we're going to be interested in certain types of recurrence relations. And there's, once again, there's a nomenclature associated with this particular topic where you'll hear about uh, linear recurrence relations, homogeneous uh, recurrence relations of certain degrees, heterogeneous, and so on. And in this video, I just want to try to maybe just map out what we really mean by recurrence relation and then particular types of keywords, okay? So a formal definition, a formal uh, definition uh, of a recurrence relation okay, is basically something like this, okay? And we're going to actually define it to be a certain type. So a linear, a linear homogeneous, homogeneous, okay? Homogeneous recurrence relation, recurrence relation, okay? Uh, uh, of degree, of degree, let's say k, okay, with constant coefficients, with constant coefficients, okay, constant coefficients is a recurrence of the form, is a recursive, a recurrence, okay, uh, of the form, of the form, okay, and it looks something like this, the nth term, Okay, the nth term of the sequence is defined in relation to previous terms. So if you want to find the nth term in a particular sequence or a particular term in a sequence, it's going to be defined in terms of previous terms. That looks something like this. It's some constant times the term before the nth term plus some other constant times, let's say, two times the term prior to that term, n minus two, uh, plus all the way down to, let's say, the kth constant, yeah, times a to the n minus k. So something like this is what we're defining to be a recurrence relation of a particular type. We're saying that it's linear. We're saying it's homogeneous. Uh, we're saying it's a particular degree k, and we're saying that it has constant coefficients. What do I mean by linear? Okay. Uh, what do I mean? Actually, maybe we'll come back to this now in a second. Yeah. Okay. But these recurrence relations, these recurrence relations effectively generate sequences. Okay. So they, they generate sequences for us. Okay. Once we have the full definition of the recurrence. Okay. So let's look at an example. Yeah. A simple example. Let's say uh, an example. Okay. So I might define, let's say, the nth term of a sequence to be simply equal to the term prior to the nth term let's say, plus, plus, plus two, okay? Uh, where I define also the starting, the first term of the sequence, let's say I define a zero to be equal to, to be equal to one, okay? So if we generate, if we, if we, if we let's say, pump this particular recurrence, okay, uh, to see what actually comes out of it, we can see that the first term of the sequence is one, uh, so the next term labeled A1 must be equal to, well, A1 will be equal to A1 minus 1 plus 2. So it's effectively equal to A0 plus 2. And we know what A0 is equal to. A0 is simply equal to 1. So it's 1 plus 2. So it's equal to 3. So the first term in this sequence defined by this recurrence, okay? So here's the recurrence, the recurrence relation. The first term is 1 and the second term is 3. If I want the next term in the sequence, let's say a2, well, a2 is defined with relation to the previous term. So it's a, it's equal to a2 minus 1 plus 2. And a2 minus 1 is the term a1 plus 2. And we know what the term a1 is. It's effectively a 3. So it's 3 plus 2, which now gives us, gives us 5. 
So the third term in this sequence, defined by this particular recurrence relation, yeah, okay, uh, is five. Okay? And you can see what's actually happening here is that every time we take, every time, what we have is the, the next term in the sequence is the sum of the previous one plus two. So in this situation, this particular recurrence relation, yeah, is generating, it's generating the sequence, the sequence, Let's see the sequence that's generating. Uh, it's generating the first value in it is a one, so it's generating one, right? Followed by three, followed by five. I think you can see what this recurrence is actually generating. It's generating the odd natural number, so it's the odd natural natural numbers. Okay? So you can actually see now that in when it came to generating functions, we were away we had a way to define the natural the odd natural numbers with respect to with respect to power series. And from the power series we had a we generated we 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 we, we constructed the generating function. Now what we have is we have the odd numbers, the odd natural